What's up guys and welcome to another episode here at Tremolos Show today. We're here at SEMA, we're bringing you the good, the bad, and all the ugly. We already been here for a few days. We set up shop, help Dave, help Weston, help Super Winch. So today, we're going in there. Oscar's here, and What's if up, you guys didn't see last year's video, we went in, we raw dogged all these Broncos that were really, really bad. Oscar, what do you think, dude? Is it gonna be worse this year? There's a cool dog, dude. That's all I can say about the show at this point right now, dude. <laughs> that's a cool dog. So, that's where it starts. Oscar was useless, but we're here at the Las Vegas Convention Center, the West Hall. So we're gonna walk in, they're gonna check our bags. Once we get in, we'll go into the first hall, and that's actually where Weston's at. That's the main hall. We'll walk that hall first. All right, so this episode will focus Broncos, and then tomorrow we'll do the good, the bad, and the ugly of all of SEMA. We'll talk about everything. Restrooms, restaurants, beer, prices, Teslas, people, and uh, yeah, but today, Broncos, let's get it. First hall. All right, we're walking in. Let's get it. Oh, that, that door almost, that door almost clear me, dude. <laughs> dude, seizure time. Seizure time. All right, so here's the main entrance. The SEMA signs right there. Everybody that hasn't been to SEMA, that's pretty much the first place to go. The new GR is here. We'll talk about that tomorrow, but let's go in. Sure. Let's find the first victim. All right, so quick disclaimer. This is our opinion only. Don't get all butt hurt, but we're just doing it from a performance perspective. So if it works, we're gonna say it works. If it doesn't work, Oscar, Oscar's gonna tell you it doesn't. <laughs> no. All right, so we were walking around and we ran into the ARV one before the Truck Hero one. We're gonna do this one first. Oscar, let's talk. The rack's okay. I'm tripping out that they didn't use the actually accessory. They bolted oh. through the roof. Oh, they did. Yeah. They actually braced it, which I mean, makes I mean, sense. I guess so like, if you want it to be really strong and it's gonna actually hold the tent, hold, like, hold the tent or something. Yeah, so a lot of the racks that you get for the roof, they're actually hooked to the actual uh, box right here. Uh, Cause it is really, really strong. That's where Oscar put his. But this one's actually bolted through with some extra brackets. Um, but it's all done up. It does have a slide out. Again, size of King of the Hammers. Amazing Dude, jack. that jack is sick, yeah. Except this nice is like cooler. a whole budget. This, right is here. The, this is pretty much all ARB goodies, accessories. They have this cooler. The jack is one of the sickest jacks I've ever seen. Looks like a cannon. Let's talk about bumper. Too much? It was, it's nice. I think it's alright. I, I hope it, I wish it was shorter. Can't though. We've discovered like the frame on the bumper. Oh, literally the frame is on the bumper. Big. Yeah, you're right. So, you're gonna be chopping our stuff. Yeah. This, they, they, they did keep the sash wash fenders on it. Uh, oh shit, oh man, Emu has a suspension, suspension for it. Yeah, check it out. 2.5 sternals. Look at they mounted it. That's actually kind of cool. That's cool, yeah, because like ours are right here. Like mine are kings go right here. I think yours are too. Yeah, right? mine are too, yeah. When I had the regular. So they cut right here then, huh? No. That's how it is. Did, that's a pocket right there? Yeah. So like when I had mine here with the stock wheels, I actually used to rub on the reservoir. So this is a lot smaller cool. resi though. It is a lot smaller. Huh. All right, so this is full skidded out of here. It's got the nice rear, all the way across, all the way to the bottom. That's actually really nice. And then it is Badlands under there, so that's pretty cool. But it's also an ARB piece. It's really nice. It's really nice. So this could play work with the stock bumper modular? Yes. It does? Yeah. Nice. That's really sick. So this does have an OME, brand new suspension. And this piggy's also mounted different. That's really cool. Oh, this bumper itself, let's see. It's a little bit much for me. It looks like a, one of those like Explorer bumpers for overlanding and whatnot. But it looks really rigid. It's really nice. It's got a compressor mounted inside. Motor's pretty stock, 2.7. Light bar's pretty basic. Rims are okay. So overall, it's not that bad. These doors are cool. Oh, that mount. The mount's sick. I don't know, it's not terrible. The rest really nice. Call it a rock slider. So far, the ARB one is actually not that bad. Um, it's equipped for what I would say, like your experienced overlander that's actually going to rock crawl it from time to time. The sliders are okay. We did see a few of them bend. Actually, talking to him about it and letting him know he could believe it. Sliders, huh, he might want to check the market for something different. But everything else that they're doing, it's it's really nice. And ARB usually carries some really nice stuff. It's actually cool to see something different. So it's on factory arms. For a four inch lift, that's a little scary. But everything else looks to be okay. It's a good plate, it's nice. All right, we're gonna keep moving. Wow, this is a good thing that we're starting off with something that's this quality. We know it's ARB. Yeah. But already from last year, this is like 10 times better. Yeah, this is, this is a whole lot better. Last year's ARB was 
had a massive front bumper, massive rear bumper. Like even the bumper was similar, but they done little changes in it that made it I, way more tasteful. Yeah, it's the way tasteful. It was a little more, it had sharper yeah, edges. It was yeah. like, so somebody's doing it. I mean, it's obviously it's ARB, they're listening and stuff. Yeah. You're talking to the gentleman, they're listening to us. Yeah. They listen to the people. He did talk about the shock, so they're going to have an old man emu setup with triple bypasses that has their technology, so it's pretty dope. Look at that wheel. They have 17s. On 37s, yeah. What wheel is that though? <laughs> I know, it's a Ford wheel. ARB will not switch out the cap for you. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever wheel that is. We should have bring this low. rack a bit. Yeah, so the base rack. So the base actually is going to be a modular. You're going to be able to put that on anything else. And then the bottom will be obviously for the bunker. Because uh, like everybody's rack holds onto this, just the rock, you know, to the stock rails yeah. here, which will have a lot of good weight this way. But when you start putting weight, it starts bouncing, it's not yeah. going to last. Although this, you got to drill through your top. It actually bolts to the cage, which yeah, is kind of cool. That's sick. I know. I already it showed them that. here and right here. You can't see it because it's kind of tight, but yeah. there's actually a stock threaded hole here. They utilize it to screw it down. Yep. And you can still remove your front panel. Yep. So. That, that's important. A lot of the racks that we've seen go all the way across because they need the they like, need stability the um, for the weight, you know, weight transfer while moving. This one actually mounts to the actual cage so that we're you can still remove the top and still put all the weight you want up there. So it's really, that's really, really dope. Again, you have to be uh, willing to put holes in your in your top, but honestly, if you do it correctly, you can you can manage it. And for all our shock guys, you guys don't realize it's a triple bypass. Triple bypass. Figure that out. <laughs> and a good mounting position. I don't know, man. ARB definitely stepped it up. There's a couple things that I still think. Air locker is amazing. Oh yeah, the, the air dope. locker is pretty sick. Yeah. So if you don't have a locker, if you did get a base non sasquatch or black diamond or any of those without a locker, ARB does have a real air locker now. But overall, it's a, the overall, it's actually yeah, it's not bad. It's not bad. Nice, nice it's not too. bad, and the biggest thing is it's a big upgrade from last year. Yeah, they actually like, did a lot. And the doors are four doors, not ARBs. So. There are cars in there, but there's a cool. Those are cars are sexy. <laughs> those are cool. They're just giving them away, or what, dude? Everybody I know, has everybody Recaros now. Every, yeah, I got. It does have nice floor mats too, if you didn't get a Badlands. But yeah, everything else is pretty stout. All right, let's go to the next one. Moving on to Truck Hero. Pull out to this two door here. We're gonna start with the front. Suspension is factory? No, it's like a belt tech or somebody lift kit. It has a drop down oh, bracket. Oh, it does have a drop down bracket. Oh, it has a huge spacer too. Yeah, of course. So already we're looking at things we don't like. Huge spacer and that spacer looks it's kind of weird, man. Oh, they got to make this weird angle so the shock doesn't move it. Is? Yeah. The doors are whatever, they're from Havoc. Typical doors. What's this piece? Oh, it's a soft top. Oh, yeah, I need to check it out. What's it? Oh, oh, no. it's a Oh, oh, it's a Rampart product, so this oh, is yeah, a lot different. It has a way more slant than the Trek top. Yeah, fenders are different, so it's got almost like a bushwhacker no, look. they have these outlasts here as well, sort of. Yeah. The thing is, this thing with black diamond, it's not going to hold up to these tires. Dana 30 is no lockers, non Sasquatch truck. Yeah, that's true. It's non Sasquatch black just, diamond. This is definitely a bolt on truck and should not be at a booth like this. Exactly. Track bar, anything upgraded? Nope, it's all. Nothing. Spacers and no skid plates. How to say it, dude? The only good thing on the truck are the wheels. Yeah, the racing <laughs> wheels are nice. That's it. So your bumper's kind of skimpy. I mean, it's not too bad. The shape is pretty nice. The fenders, to myself, I don't really like them. They just have a weird crawler step thing, and it looks like you would get hung up everywhere here. Is it mounted to the frame? No. Not body body mounted i mean for the two door it's pretty common there hasn't been much that has that i mean it's a pretty truck but it's not a yeah this is not something you're gonna wheel heavily yeah. but it's a cruiser for sure it has big tires 12 and a half all right so this is the second one a truck hero another havoc build uh, from bumper that, what does that bumper look like mine dude except without a winch yeah. good bad and ugly let's go from bumper i ran out i was trucking bad it was the video last year it's kind of sad is it the same one? Yeah. It's not the same one. It was, it was here. They did some changes, like new light bar, new, new bumper, but it's pretty much the same thing. Yeah. The bumper is... What's all this space for activities, though? <laughs> I know. So what's, up with what's up with this gap here? I wish this was tucked in a little bit so better. Bad the design of this bumper is actually not bad. I just wish it was tucked in a little bit more. But it is... Oh, dude, it has your favorite braces on it. <laughs> so it has the Bronco Buster set up, especially because they're stock. Suspension, it is a balance though, so it does have a nice shocks, a new top, and it does have a new uh, light bar. So uh, the Havoc lights are different from last year. But Oscar said this is the same one from last year, so. Yeah, I just got more. Definitely nicer lift, I guess. Not really, it's the same lift, it just has a uh, better parts. It is interesting, but I mean, 
if you know these trucks, there's not a lot of weight. There's not many places you can put those high lifts on these trucks. That's still a lot of weight for so, it, bro. Yeah, it is. Like, look at that. We jump it or go do stuff. Jump it, yeah. If you're on the 405, dog. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, this is not a good mount. I would, I would yeah. go these little brush guards if you guys like these guards for the sides. That's pretty cool. Yeah, something I released over a year ago, dog. With the Why is it here? <laughs> rear bumper. I mean, so one thing before we start breaking down the rear bumpers. It's really hard to really make one that's really, really nice They're all without gonna... cutting the frame, without doing some some real modification. A lot of the, a lot of the rear bumpers are going to look pretty similar. Even Weston's has kind of like the same nice little tuck and it drops down because the frame comes all the way to the top. So it's really difficult to make one. This one's not bad. They're all going to be the same. Yeah, they all look kind of similar, honestly. They don't have any other hitch accessories on it. These are kind of cool. Um, these rear corner guards are cool, but it's still going to destroy your light. It's not going to do much. It's more of a, a look option than anything. The top's okay. I don't know. I'm not a big fan of this yeah, truck. I'm not either. The Power Step XLs, those things, I mean, they're Power Step, so that's cool. It is a manual, though. That's cool. Yeah, so it's a Badlands manual, it's 2.3. Manual Badlands, that's pretty sick. It's a pretty cool truck. Yeah. Look, it's the same amount we have, dude. Yeah. Hey. It's whatever. It's a nice bolt-on truck, that's it. Yeah, it's a nice bolt-on, if that's what you're looking for. The Havoc pieces are... Oh, okay. So there it is. Let's keep moving. So we're going to keep it moving. And we just found another Bronco. We're actually no, in the Overland area now. It's a Franco. It's a Franco. Oh, it is a Franco. <laughs> it's a Franco. But this is full Overland setup. It still has uh, stock bumpers. It has a nice rack. The rack's okay. I mean, I've seen this before. The trail tracks rack. Um, it hooks to the bottom of this, which... Uh, I don't know. If you're going to do some heavy wheeling, I wouldn't recommend this. Because this will shift and move regardless of how tight you tighten things. And uh, with that much weight and carrying it through whoops and whatnot. He actually does wheel it though. Yeah, it is it dirty. Is it is wheeled. So I do respect that. Dirty well wells, all that good stuff. They actually do use this truck. So that's pretty sick. But I mean, other than all the Overland goodies up top and some basic mods like the modular. This is from Ford. It's got some lights. Yeah, there's the, the awning. It's pretty sick. It's from Rome. Wheels entire package. It looks like it's on stock suspension. Yeah, but this is actually pretty appreciated because it is a Sasquatch Bronco. It is a Sasquatch Bronco. And they did nothing to the suspension. That being yep. said, it's better than these guys that are putting spacers and this and that. That's right. Yeah. These things stock. Are it's going to ride better. It's probably going to yeah. stay um, more reliable the way that it is. If yeah. you're just going to do this to it, this is a very functional truck. Final, Final statements on and the Bronco. Although the Bronco is not for me because of the way that it's designed. It's a very purpose built vehicle. You want to camp in it, you can actually tow a little trailer in the back. It's going to be reliable as can be. That's what this would be sick. Storage. He kept it pretty factory where yeah. he's not going to ruin anything. And he can tow a little trailer yeah. and then he has everything else needed on top. So, so simple trails, camping, overlanding. It's, yeah. I mean, it's a damn good build. So it'll get you in and out of places for sure because it is a Sasquatch. And then obviously he outfitted it with the stuff that he actually uses. And you can tell it's used. Yeah. So Franco, if you watch this, or if anybody knows them, tag them. Solid job on you driving your truck. ADVs, obviously, the thickness. These are the big, big ones too, huh? The five inch ones? Yeah, but as we just found out, I'm disappointed. I'm, I'm, oh, oh I'm no. disappointed with, oh the, no. with these fenders now. Why? Because although they made them five, yeah, whatever. They're not taller? Yeah, I think, I think so these everything are like, rubs I think these are like an inch or something, like that, but that's not enough. Like people doing long travel like this truck is, it's yeah. like, oh, this you're gonna whack this. This is cool though, because I do like the purple ring. And does have purple kings. So purple kings are sick. But it does have the Baja LT kit, Baja kits, long travel kit. Oh, it does have the Baja kits. We do like the custom custom little touches, but it is the same kit that everybody else is using in this uh, show. I mean, I don't know. It's kind of clean. They didn't do much to it. It looks, I mean, they did do a lot to it, but you know what I mean. Like Bronco's we're cool. wide fenders. So Oscar's not a big fan of the Baja kits. Uh, Baja kits. Long travel, long travel kit. Because nobody uses it. We haven't seen anybody beat one up. So in a little while, we'll elaborate why this kit is just, it's super popular because it's literally the only one in the market. Yeah. But nobody's using it. But I mean, the truck itself, let's talk about the truck. Okay, the steps, whatever these are. These are pretty nice. Hey, it's plated all the way down underneath. That's kind of sick. <laughs> why do you get scared, dude? I'm so talking crap about Baja kits and they're right there. <laughs> that was them coming. The side? <laughs> uh, can we elaborate this pen real quick? We found. So, it does this. What's that for? I don't know why. Why is that? I don't know, it's probably to poop people, dog. Uh, it feels like poop. <laughs> it's a hammer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it doesn't work. Tires are massive, god dang. Yeah, they're plated all the way down, yeah, though. I like that. Good, but it's still boxy. Yeah, but it's, even if it does bend like some of them do, it's gonna push up and it's not gonna really mess anything up. This has got a cool MBRP exhaust or MBRP something. MBRP exhaust. exhaust, yeah. I think it's MBRP. 
uppers, lowers from the Baja kit. It comes with all that goodness. Ooh, why are those bolts all so much though? Why are those bolts all too long? No skip it on that steering rack. Yeah, that steering rack's not covered. It is dirty though. So it it's is kinda... dirty, so they might use it. Uh, Maybe just for the photo shoot. Oh, this bumper's ugly though. So I'm not a fan of this bumper because it sticks out too much. For a truck that's built this nicely, it should have a like nicer Baja design style bumper on it for sure. Dude, they have the relocation bracket. We need that. No, we don't. <gasps> Make one, dude. I'm not looking at it for ideas. Did, did you just blink at it twice to take a picture of it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this, this Bronco's gonna be something we're gonna see 20 of cookie cutter. Okay, all right. They're not gonna have ADV, same stuff, all of them. All right, so cookie cutter, dude. cookie cutter ADVs, cookie cutter suspension, cookie right. cutter suspension. So the only reason we really even talk about the suspension purple. is because nobody uses it. The purple is really sick. The color is dope. The the combination of things is awesome. But whoever installed it obviously did it backwards, so that's a big no no. All right, let's go find another one to prove this point that this is wrong. I know it's wrong. All right, let's go. Or mine are wrong. All right, <laughs> we're gonna go. Yeah, either Oscar's wrong or we're wrong. Somebody's wrong. It's wrong. So we're gonna start here with the project cars. Bronco. He has the new Alpha Rex headlights that are pretty sweet. These are the ones that are RGB, dude. So you want purple lights? Yeah, sick. Thank God off road. He has all the sticker horsepower. So just in case you didn't see it here, he put it right here. And just in case you didn't see it right there, <laughs> he put it right here. Project cars. Follow him. So yeah, I mean. No, dude, they just threw every accessory. Too much, yeah, too much. Too much for no reason. Like nobody's gonna use this. It's gonna push into your front. Wait. It what? folds up. Yeah, it does fold yeah, up. Yeah, but yeah. see? Yeah. You're free to touch it. Show it. Pulling it off and stuff. How much weight does it hold? 500 on road, 300 off road. That does that holds 500? Get on it, dude. Huh? They call yeah, me fat. <laughs> I'm saying you're 300. <laughs> call me. Yeah, no. Call me. Get on it. Yeah. You, you said you could do it. Get on it. I'm annoying me. I'm gonna eat it. I'm gonna eat it. Get on it, dude. Damn it. You're gonna eat it, dude. What if I touch the armor on? My shoe. No, my shoe. Dang. It's actually kind of nice. <laughs> it feels sturdy as can be. It works. All right. There you go. Right. It's it's thick oh, boy you friendly. Video. Yeah. It's thick boy friendly. All right, officer. So the ladder didn't fall apart. We got to give him credit for that. Have you ever seen a girl that has all the bolt ons on? Nobody likes those girls. This has all the bolt ons like everything. This one does have all the bolt ons. So, Vanguard makes it, and obviously, like, there's, there's certain people that do like this kind of stuff. The rack, again, is pretty similar to almost everybody else's. It goes all the way across. Can't take your tops off. Can't take your top off, dude. And we don't like that either. <laughs> but it has, like, wish wrecker, fenders. Um, what kind of lift? Skyjacker suspension. Can I get a book and bag? And then it does have a bumper. The bumper's not completely bad. Yes, sir. It's not nice as out as much as some of the other ones that usually come out pretty far out. So this one's pretty. Also the front, it's pretty tucked in. And they actually copied this from the Defender. He actually even told us uh, they did like a mock up of the Defender, so that's pretty cool. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And they are going to redo this where it's actually floating and it's not touching the bottom. So that's going to be important because when you're off roading, that will rub off your paint no matter what material it is. After some time, it will come off. But, I don't know, it's just like, like you said, it looks like somebody that put all the bolt-ons on and um, doesn't get wheeled really. There's no dirt underneath this one, so this one's relatively new. And then it has a lot of bolt-ons, bushwhackers, the hood. I mean, they should have gone all the way across the light bar, put some nicer lights up there. That's what it is. To me, it's a factory. It's a factory. The way they should do that. I don't walk around this guy, dog. He just lied to me to my face. Why? Like, oh, this winch doesn't block the camera. And I'm like, what's this? <laughs> Did you just say that? I gotta walk away, dog. You have a great day, man. He didn't say that. Tell me he didn't say that. I need a drink, dog. Tell me he didn't say that, dude. No, he didn't. All right, so this is Steer Smarts. Oh, dude, I have beef with Steer Smart. <laughs> dude. All right, first and foremost, I don't like you, Steer Smart. You made me stay at fucking Big Bear for a long time with Tara's Jeep because it fell apart. The tie rod, the links oh, that fell apart. It was no Steer way. Smart, dude. I can see why. Do they fix? They fix issues to something that's not an issue on this truck. Yeah, what they do? They made an outer tie rod to reinforce the steering. Nice. That's not the issue. That's it's not the, the inner. issue. It's the inner, yeah. Dude, well, I think the seats are custom. Check out the, the Dude, he's got the American flag. Dude. Sick. That's pretty cool. 
The JCR. Oh, these are nice. The JCR. So it's not the Rockside. This is the same one you have, right? Yeah. So the same table that. Damn, dude, how come this one looks nice? You're just like shit. Because I use my. <laughs> the JCR is dope. And dude, the kicker speaker, sick. And he's like, he's got the silver too. Oh, that is pretty cool. It's all right. The rack is cool. The steer smart products. Uh, not a fan of them. Cool the, the top is the best stop. Right. See the steering. It's got weld wheels. On, that's a big rim too. Um, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about so, it. Although this is cool as hell and beefy. It is beefy. I mean, back here is like a, I think it's like eight millimeters thick. Still, so that's the that's still the weakness, that's right? That's still the weak problem. Yeah. yeah. They should have addressed this way before you even touched it. Yeah, they should have just done a whole piece or a two piece, but addressed both sides instead of I just the one. I may be wrong, but I've yet to see anybody breaking on it at all. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, most of the issues that we've seen has has been in there or like right in here, right? Like right it's where right the here. where the piece it's, is. It's right here at the threads. Yeah, it's right snappy. at the Yeah. So. I mean, the skid plate, skid plate's nice. Oh, it's a JCR. Yeah, but it's, it's not the JCR. Skid plate's really nice. This is all JCR. This is all JCR. Yeah. A bumper, JCR also. They make a nice bumper. Yeah, it's all JCR. So this bumper's kind of nice. Nice and tucked in. It's slick. It's nice. It has all the sensors. It has a adaptive cruise control still. Adaptive cruise control. Yeah. I'm not a fan of the bull bar. I had a certain company almost killed me for not doing this. But you can actually remove these, so that's pretty yeah. cool. Without I mean, the yeah, without hey, the bull bar. The camera block. This guy's like a <laughs> camera's not blocked. <laughs> this guy's like a... <laughs> it's got Baja design lights, right? Yeah. Yeah, the squadrons. I mean, it's cool, but I think yeah, like you said, they addressed, they addressed some of the issue, not the uh, whole thing. None of this. And then the arms, I mean, the arms are pretty basic. It looks like they kept... Pretty much what they did is like, like if you get a blowout and you change your rim and leave the blowout tire still. Yeah. I think, what are these, 20s? Probably. On a 40 inch? Are these 40s? No. 37, 35. On a 20 inch rim though, right? Yeah, for 20. Yeah, 37 on a 20. I'm not a fan of that either. Too big of a rim. Yeah. It's probably really heavy. Hopefully it's a 27 or else it'd be... Steer smart. They're promoting steering. Upgrade your truck, please. Yes. And that's that. We're keep moving. So before we go back here with all the badass Broncos, this is also a badass Bronco. Uh -huh. This it's is Straub. This is history of Broncos here. Yeah. People don't know, this is a straw. This Big is a real Broncos, straw. They, you know, race trucks and they're just cool trucks. Yeah, and uh, actually one of Oscar's family member has the frame of one of these. And yeah, we, looked at all the, we, we looked at all the differences and it's a lot of differences. For, for back in the day, this was like above yeah, this the was industry. Like the, this was a race truck, you know? Yeah. But it's funny because they, they got we saw my Supercell. But I think it has Rantor shocks, dude. Yeah. Yeah, but he's got like eight of them. Yes, true. So it's a beautiful oh, truck. Max Track did it right. They brought out some classic history out in the making. And I mean, you can't say anything wrong about this. If, yeah, I can. They shouldn't have that record. They shouldn't have that record. Have that record. <laughs> yeah. I had to say something. Yeah, bad. if you had to keep it factory for sure, because it's such a like historic piece. But we get it. It's no, but it's kind of cool because I know a lot of the early Bronco guys been looking for solutions because yeah. I hear them all the time. And not a bad one. It's not a bad one. It's no. actually nice. It's a Rhino rack. But they did keep everything else factory the way it's supposed to be, so that's pretty sick. It has an old winch. Then they're showcasing it with some sand and whatnot. But we know this is a fake ad because Broncos don't get stuck. We need to stick on our truck. Here. The the Baja by Shroud. That'd be sick. Shout out to Max Track for bringing out the Strop. That's super sick. And obviously they carry all the because of gear, the tracks that everybody copies. And uh, yeah, there it is. It's got trail motion colors. This is sick, dude. Not purple. All right. You just saw the old Strop. History of Broncos. Now we're moving to the new school, new era. We're here, Project X. You guys have seen the lights on my truck. Pretty much everything's installed. You've seen this one before. This is the, like the most common. Uh, Project X truck, everybody's seen it before. Oscar's gonna break it down. This booth, this is the best Bronco dog. It is, right? Yes. Yeah, I would agree too. This one. This one, yeah. This sure. one. I'll show the people why, dog. Why? Show them the reaction. The oh my show them the reaction. Ah, dude. Come here. Come here, guys. Come oh on. my god. Here, you show them. I'm not gonna waste my time, dog. You why do. not? Look, there's a race truck there and it's over there. But, dude. All right, so <laughs> anyways, this is the Project X fun haver setup. I mean, when the Broncos all got released, when these were like all shown to the public, it was nuts because the fenders, the way that they designed everything was just like 
kind of blew everybody away, honestly. If you have any taste, um, honestly, this is one of the best looking Broncos there is out there. Everything from the wrap to the yeah. Recaros on the inside, Recaros in the back seat. He's got them Bronco free Recaros everybody has now. I know. Um, FF70s that we have, the RTR bracket, obviously the width, long travel, and you, you name it. And then they kept it simple too. They didn't like overdo it. The lightweight looks too perfect. It's just, it's just dope. They cut the modular, they did the extender RTRs, and then they have their new pods that are just launching now. There's a side pod there. They're gonna have them in four different sizes. And then all the lights, all the goodness. They also have cameras for the Jeeps. Uh, they are, they're actually integrated into the light, so that's pretty dope. But yeah, man, this is one of the best looking Broncos out here for sure. And it's been around for a while. And they keep adding, a, you know, small little touches to it. They have a blizzard box in there, uh, but it's well built and it's actually functional. Now, Jared can't drive. No, nope. sorry, Jared. The truck itself, absolutely amazing. There it is. And they came packing. They came packing in their booth. They have one of the race trucks here that Lauren drives. And it's, uh, dude, it's, I mean, just money, just money, 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 money. There's money everywhere. Like the construction of all this stuff. Like it's all one off. Yeah, it's all one off pieces. There it is. The Fun Haver Ultra 4 Bronco. And then. Oh, dude, what motor is it? It's a custom 460 cube right there. Big block. But it's amazing. Lauren Healy's. That's why And then they revealed it this morning and I wasn't here. Oscar got to see it. But it's here. The Fun Haver XL. Absolutely sick. 42s? 42 tires. Big old Fox Daddies back there. Also the four Recaro Bronco ones that everybody's getting except for us. They're free, dude. They're free. They're free. Somewhere. I don't know where we pick them up, but we gotta sign up. They got them also. Dude, it looks like a roller coaster back here, dude. <laughs> That's super sick. It's, it's also a bad lance, but and the way that Fun Haver Project X knock the wrap out knock the design the way that the suspension is all the rear is custom yeah so like the big thing with this one is like you have the, the project x one there that's obviously long travel and it's cool you have the baja kids making long travels this is the only one that the rear is actually custom long arm it's got a wishbone top link the first one i see it they actually redo the rear for true long travel suspensions we got to figure out obviously. how we could get this yeah. on video driven by Lauren. Because although the front end screws out, it's ninety percent of it's still bolted to be honest with you. Kind yeah. Of. But the rear is all custom. The rear is all They're, custom. Yeah. Exactly. Um, and this one does right. have the blue, the, the blue color change on them. That's so pretty uh, sick. Gonna the RGB. The RGB. All right. RGB. It. You can't change it to any color. But the setup, the wheel taste, pretty much everything. It's, it's nasty. It's it's nasty. But it's nasty. Like yeah. Yep. Inner ring, inner ring. Yeah, it has an outer and inner ring, right? Yeah, yeah it's, it's a double beat lock. Dude, the, the Heinz, they're like crazy big. Dude, it's not stock. I didn't say it's stock, but you could technically bolt these arms to Oh, bolt truck. on. Like yeah, none yeah. of the frame points are yeah. different. They're reinforced, but yeah. they're not different. I agree. You could take this suspension almost bolt on your truck. Dude, not the rear. How fun have a name just kills it. Continues to kill it. What was the first truck? The uh, Ranger on. Yeah, the fun runner. Yeah, the fun runner, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, the fun runner was the first one, and then they just went crazy with it. Fiberglass. And it just, man. It just looks sick, dude. This is the best Bronco, hands down. Oh. I don't think there's anything in the show that's gonna even come close. What can you say? I mean, they were like Bronco Super. day one. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's true. And they're endorsed also, so that does help <laughs> when you don't have to pay for the truck. They get free, they get free trucks. <laughs> yeah, but it'll be sick to see. Hopefully we can hook up with Lauren or Vaughn and uh, get them to wheel one of these in front of us and just see see how they rip it and see how it handles. Cause it looks mad thick. It looks way bigger. It doesn't even look like a Ford or Bronco anymore. Like. The length is obviously the same, but it doesn't even look like it. It's just, it's nuts. So sick. Project X, you guys definitely killed it. <laughs> All right, so besides like the typical Bronco, why they change the rear so much, it's actually has a long arm in the rear. The stock position is like over here somewhere. Um, it's more of a trailing arm setup than a four link. It does have a wishbone upper link, which is damn amazing because they, they, they maneuvered everything to get this thing in there it's kind of hard they even had to notch the rear part of the frame to clear for the upper link but i mean ah. bypass coilover in the rear there's a cage in the back we'll show you right now they just cut off a section where the oem coilover mount goes but damn that's true i mean it's pretty damn amazing 
bump stops, the everything. Nice little touches, the fun hammer touches right there. Yeah, look at that. Damn. But yeah, this is a complete custom rear suspension. Like I said, the rear, the front's still kind of stock-ish, the <laughs> best way I can say it. Yeah. But the rear is just complete. It's just all stock skid plate. Yeah, that is the that is the fuel tank. The yeah, stock so fuel tank. Like, damn. So I think this is as much as gonna get OEM race truck. Yeah. So the catch. All right. So there's a different view. Again, double bead lock. Sick ass axle. Bypasses. Bypasses. Big ass brakes. Lights. Drive shaft. Everything is custom in the rear, like Oscar said. Yeah. Can't go wrong with this. Yeah, that's us. That's. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's as close as we get to driving it. <laughs> <laughs> ah. So you see this pen? It's just like this truck, right? You take something very good and you do useless shit to it. <laughs> We're gonna find out <laughs> what, the, what the hell that's for. Because we found this pen and it does transformer things, but why? Okay. Same thing as why? Why? <laughs> do we even have to or do we just show the video? Show the truck. Dude, look at this truck, boys. Look at this. <laughs> Dude, the track bar is big, dog. Dude, look at that. He has ring lights on his tire. It's weird. Dude, how come you don't have lights on your rims? Dude? I'm doing it, dog. Oh, yeah. That is a fat ass sway bar. <laughs> that is the a track bar. Fat ass track bar. Rock truck on. The funny enough, it's goofy as this truck can be. It's got good freaking parts. I don't know what these shocks are. We gotta find out what they are because they're cool. With that track bar, it's got upper and lower control arms in the rear. Think it's rock trucks, dog. It's a Badlands, too. Yeah. He tows everything with it, so he has to have that. Oh, yeah, he can tow both. Speakers in the back. Uh, yeah. Silver. Badlands. Okay, I'm disappointed, dog. You know why? A truck with this much, whatever you want to call it, usually has the interior done. This one's completely stuck on the inside. Yeah, but, but, he's got an orange rear sway bar. That thing's thick. Oh, the sway bar. Oh, he has a sway bar? No, oh, I do see it. Dude, those are not rock truck arms. They are not. No, they're not. Yeah, These are bigger, dude. No, oh, they're rock trucks. It's got Johnny joints in the back and everything. Dude, look at his sway bar. It is, per it is orange. Damn. Okay. See the front? I don't know what company that is. I can't see it that well. But the color matched everything. Color matched fenders. Color match, color match, color match, and then kaboom, big wheels. Dog, they powder coated the weights to balance the wheels. Do they really? They're gray. Damn. Oh, yeah, they did powder coat them. It's got all the beats in the back, as expected. Just remember the pen. <laughs> just remember the pen. Because it, it, it actually, in theory, this is not a bad truck. It is a bad lens. It's got a nice suspension, actually. And then, I don't know. It just, it just fell. <laughs> and then, I don't know. You know? I don't know what happened. Tire look. We'll take the tire It's a nice silver, too. We'll I don't want to see what it has on there. We'll take the tire This is actually. We gotta find out what they are. Two drop down brackets are cooler. What's the suspension? Yeah, that's what he's in there. Better coated arms. Skid plate. Pretty cool. Bumper. Hi, man. Just remember, when you look at this Bronco, you look at this pen. It's good. But it's actually got cool stuff. It does have it's just ugly. Yep. Quality yep. stuff, but it's ugly. It's, it's a pretty girl with a no wait, ugly girl with a girl personality. Yeah. Backwards. You know, no, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You get it. it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alright, so we saw this raptor actually at uh the Sin City get together trunk or treat. So we're breaking it down now. Yeah, it's a raptor that they already painted and kind of modified. They added stuff to it. So they took a Raptor and made it into a Clydesdale, which if you've seen it, it was a early Bronco that made it into a four door yeah. two, two, three, three years ago. Yeah. It kind of, it's like a copy of it. I mean, the interior is kind of sick, dude. I'm not going to lie. I do like that leathery it's wood. <laughs> it is extra though. Like for us, it wouldn't work. Yeah. Anybody that wields it wouldn't work unless you're going to pay $5 just to destroy it. Um, but it is a Raptor. Dude, it has accessory right here. Yeah, so we're talking about the other thing? That's we don't know what it's for. We don't know what it's for? No. 
Lights? Matt took it off of his. There's yeah. nothing down there. Huh? <laughs> you don't know. That means Ford. something's coming, dude. Ford, please. Let yeah, us know. Let us know, dude. Put that Why? on. That's for the Raptor. That's special for the Raptor. So there it is. We saw it, you know, roll in. I mean, it's Matt Thick. The colors are okay. I would say they're nice. I don't like the rims. I do like the tires. Light bars or whatever. But there is, uh... Dude, does that Ford Raptor bar fit our bar fit our truck? Uh, it fits yours, I believe, because they are just pre-drilled here. Yeah. But Arnold fits on top. Yeah. Okay. I want to get one of those. Right. Home Depot ribs, though, so I can make it happen. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so obviously, it's stock Bronco suspension and everything stock there. There's not it much did, you could do. They did these. put tires on it. it has they wheel it, obviously. There. You know, there's rocks. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, the rear bumper's ugly. I want to cut the stock one. Well, there's a Raptor to each their own. Again, this is just an opinion that we have. It's got the wheels, got the light bar up front. The only thing I think is kind of cool that they installed all this on it is that these bumpers are off a of regular bump with non raptors so they fit, which is cool. Oh, yeah? Yeah, this, this is a Max Slider, like. But they Bronco actually bumper. just extended it, right? So nope. they just added this piece? That's how it is. Is it? That's how, the, that's how their bumper is for the regular Bronco. Oh. If you think about it, that's So the R only width that comes with the Raptor is the fender? Yeah, look at this. R's right here, the fender plate. And obviously the hood's different. Yeah. The hood is sick on the Raptor, but that's not their part. It's a. Yeah, it's a Raptor. It is a Raptor, so it has all the bits and goodies from Ford, and then they just added that. And it touches rocks. And it touches rocks. But let's be real. It'll probably never get wheeled. And it's disappointing, so. And it's not good. We're gonna keep moving. All right, the moment of truth is here. We're going to Baja Kids, so we're gonna find out if that shock was installed. Let's find out. Oh, well, it's different, but yeah, it this is, is really it is different. wrong though. So I see what they did wrong. You see the valve? That there is this thing was rotated like higher. Yeah, but it's the same setup. No, it's did not. Did you install yours wrong, dude? No. I think you did. Yeah, go look at mine now. I think you installed yours. I might have been one. wrong. Mm. <gasps> Dude, is that the noise that you're getting, dog? <laughs> <laughs> if that's the noise, I'll be happy. <laughs> oh, oh my God. All right, Oscar. Uh, so, yeah. We were talking mad shit, but I think we did it wrong. Well, Oscar did it wrong. No, no, no. There's something wrong with it. Let's, we'll review the video. Something's we'll review different. The video. Yeah, okay. That's wrong. All right. Don't quote us, but Something's there's wrong. the Baja kits with the extra bypass. Do, do they all come with the extra bypass? No. Baja kits kit. They saw that. Oh, so you have to add it? It's like an addition? So can you do the Baja kits without the bypass? Yeah. Okay. You can actually do any kit with their bypass kit. I'm gonna buy that bracket until what's the name to give me bypasses. This is the one that everybody saw on tape when it first came out. This is the first wide body one, the uh, first wide body with a long travel kit. Um, but I mean, they kept it pretty clean. It's fiberworks, not ADV. Oh, so it's a fiberworks, not ADV setup. This is also fiberworks is also making that big, big one, right? No, this is it. Is it okay? It's wide up front. It's pretty nice. No sliders. Obviously, it'll never get wheeled probably. Correct. And then, uh, yeah, it's got all the bits and goodies, goodies from Baja Kids. Yeah, Kings. Cheesy has extension for the steering. The cheesy extension, yeah, that's a big minus. That's what I, honestly, when Oscar was thinking of buying it, I was told him, I was like, ah, I don't know. That's a bad idea, especially yeah. if you're going to do any rock crawling at all. And then, I mean, that thing will bend super fast. And you're adding more leverage, you should double share this kit. This kit should be double share. Yeah. I mean, the bumper's whatever. It's nothing crazy bad. Uh, not my cup of tea, but it does have skid plates. It does have kings. I don't know. I just, I'm not a fan of it. No, it's just not a. It's just not complete, right? There's like and something I missing. Even test it, like, get, like it's like have, they brought you off radio and then like no parmesan. Yeah, we had this whole thing going back and forth with them and it's just, no. Yeah. I mean, it's shiny. It looks nice. It looks pretty. Bill it this, bill it that. It's bill it this, bill it that for sure. But I don't know. I would just like to see it in action a little bit more and see if it's really proven and tested. Anybody, anybody that has this setup. Hit us up. Let's go wheel it. There is one guy that has it, and I saw him wheel it, but like in a dirt trail, not with this. No, no, no. We need for. like come and follow us. Yeah. You know? Let's find out. It. Oops. Yeah. Hit us up. All right. Let's talk about it. But this one is. We already decided this one's really bad, but we're gonna go ahead and break I mean, it down. I mean, All right, vendors first. So Ooh. they have a lot of core cool ideas. It's just core designs or stuff, but they. I mean, the execution is bad. Yeah, execution for sure. is bad. So I see what they did here. They try to do the it's like a Jeep. OG. No, well the OG Bronco. Oh, the OG Bronco has a flat. Huh? We'll see the one over there. That yeah, yeah. Did this concept beautifully? Like the half doors. I mean, like you get the concept. It's we get cool, the concept. But they're just too weird. Blocking. It just looks weird. Yeah. This like, is cool right here. It looks I'll like a transformer. Up. That is cool. And if anybody has removed their doors, like this is like super exposed. It looks yeah. ugly. 
Yeah, it looks cool. like they, they, uh, so they redid they this. Redid this and yeah, they redid it. this and covered it. It'd be pretty cool for like us non door people. Yeah, and what's cool about Broncos is you can remove every single panel, so it's really dope. Yeah, um, the way that they did that is it's nice. I mean, this rack, and I mean, also if you're at Cena though, like, come on, dudes, for real, <laughs> you know what I'm saying. I mean, there's rackets, I mean, the rack I see says why it the, all. this is for a soft top, so it's as pretty as going to get. Oh, is that what it is? Yeah. yeah that true. way you can still open it. You still can open it. Of, you cannot open it. Just the first yourself. half, that's it. No, no you can't. Hey, that bar does not allow that. It's, oh, no, I didn't see this one. I just saw this one. Yeah. But yeah. I mean, if you have a soft top and you want a rack. It's useless, though. Yeah, rack. Oh, it's very useless. Yeah, that yeah. shit's ugly. This is very does have very rigid ugly. lights. This bumper is huge. I mean, it's not terrible. Yeah. That design's not bad. The bumper's actually... The design's pretty cool. No. It does have a rough country winch. Dude, does it cover the camera? No. No, you're good. Not according <laughs> to that guy. Not according <laughs> to that dude. Uh, it's got a couple steps on the sides. Yeah, but it's got a slider Bro, step, look at where dog. the jack is at, dog. Hell no. Why did they get that? I bet you they got it for free, too, dog. Bro. I bet you they did, dog. It's good. Let's walk away, dude. <laughs> I'm pissed now. All right, so we ran into another Bronco. This one has a Fabtech lift, has all the brackets to drop it. Spindle is upgraded, has the Dirt Logic coilovers. Looks like they're 2.5s also. These uh, sliders are also, no, these are body mountain. They're body. But everything else, what is it, a band lens? Yeah. Yeah, it is a band lens. I mean, it's kind of clean. Um, they did use the same setup as most companies where they're going underneath the the bracket here i am see with the soft top i think it works yeah, because so it's a, not hard that's the same thing back there you know the soft top i think it works yeah okay so back to that you want to go back comment it back on that guy's truck dog? that doesn't work yeah that doesn't it work. doesn't work yeah because so. with vibration and all that like it's gonna mess up your top regardless yeah. of what you say um it does have a tough is that a tough stuff no trust me trust me i don't know it looks just like a tough stuff oh, yeah. setup but i mean they kept it pretty stock they kept it pretty stock it does have some steps on it i did wrap the hood black i really like that the bumper is the modular with their added z rods yeah, it's not a bad Bronco. I mean, it's pretty simple. It just I mean, it, do the dirt logics work? We don't know. We don't know. Not much we can say because not much has been done. I don't like that it doesn't have arms. We love the tires. Yeah, it's good. It's not bad. All right, we're keeping moving. All right, so we're going to the next one. Um, it's gonna get weird, dude. It's gonna get weird. What is so, that? Oh, is that a measure tape? I found measure tape. You can see that Bronco. I'm gonna go measure that guy's schlong dog because. <laughs> Compensating for it. All right, I thought it didn't get uglier, dude. Hey, yeah. he has the interior done. See, I told you most of these rigs have the interior done. Hey, hey, look at these fenders. What do you make them out of, dude? Yeah, I bet you these are the metal ones. Yep. Man. Wait, are those the same Shelby has? Sorry, Shelby. Uh, maybe. <laughs> dude, look at the dash. Dude. AGB. RGB? RGB? No, we call those. <laughs> that's the, dude, it is a manual. You gotta I do know that. I do like that cover. If you want a dog in one of these, that's true. Not your the cover dog. is sick. This is a base. It doesn't even have base a base. Yeah, base base. Base base. Nothing okay, special. Dude, it's got this all, is cheap as it gets. It's got all the bling. No, they could have sold all this about a piece of Bronco. Dude, for dude, real. What? They extended it? No. Dude, look at the inside. It's on bags, dude. Bro. Sheesh. Inch, inch, inch. This is definitely a party check. Like, if we go to Jeep Beach, this is what we're bringing, dude. Check this out, dog. What? They just made the camera, dog. They cut the original bracket and they taped it. This is literally all tape. That's all tape? Yeah. Oh, it is. No, dude. Do it. it is tape. I'll show you. Bam. <laughs> they just taped it. Bam. There he is. It almost fooled us. <laughs> the rack shiny, the color coded everything, dude. Damn. <laughs> it's just gold, dude, before we get kicked out. All right, we're going to keep moving. We don't really even need to say. He's got all the horsepower, too, though. Dude. Why? He's got beats, though. Dude, look at that. All three of his horribles. Damn. Is this thing on bags? It is on bags. Oh, he just have an air system for the truck that he never airs done. Oh, it has a horn, dude. Damn, it is a horn. Damn. All right, we're gonna keep moving. All right, we got a question. Are right, you on camera? Oh wait, wait, are you an engineer or something? No. Are you say smart? yes. They say you're a smart guy. All right, I'm a smart guy. So, there you go. See. This is a traditional pen, right? Works everything with you, right? Does the job right? Okay. So there's this pen. We don't even know what these people are, right? <laughs> Why does it do that? Please give us a good answer. <laughs> Uh, oh, you can hold it, dude. It does this because it's a stylus, so that you can use it. So when you're on your phone, 
That's what the tip is for. Well, I know that that's a stylus, but why would they do this? It just makes it easier. So you don't have to go over like that. You just sit on your phone and go like this. So it just makes you lazy. Exactly. <laughs> easier. Yes, my dude. I mean, yeah, for sometimes, sometimes it's as simple as saying Fuck, you're boring, dude. <laughs> so we pulled up at the Alpha Rex. Obviously, they make uh, headlights for it. The new ones were revealed a few days ago. Oscar's down here breaking down this vivid build. Oscar? Completely stuck? Oh, no, it has... That's oh, this dark. is cool as hell. I'm looking at this the skip it that it has. You can't see it protects. nothing. It's dark here because they have lights on. Dude, that doesn't even make sense. How is it so dark in a lighting gotcha company? Dark. Hey, guys, you guys need a rock light. Okay, gotcha. <laughs> so it's got, the, I think yeah, I believe, nice I believe it's, yeah, it's DV8. It's a cool skip plate. It's a cool skip plate. And I got to give it to them. Like, I make these, but oh. these are pretty cool because they cover this too. But yeah, that's true. They almost touch your arm, so the suspension articulates. It's going to hit your arm. It's going to hit your arm, yeah. And but that's weird. Well, everybody's DV8 doesn't wheel. That's true. Except for zombie. Dog, I told you. Two <laughs> eight spacers, dog. Two inch spacers. Damn, he guessed it right. I told you, dog. This thing's pushed up crazy. So it has a fender delete. I mean, the bumper's whatever. Again, there's not a lot of choices for a bumper, but it's there. It is from Arizona. It's got rock slider um, electric step. The arms are from Baja Kids. So this is a really unique build because most Baja Kids have kings, and this Baja Kid setup has icons. So it's a Baja Kids hey, what's up? with icons. I mean, whatever. It's not completely horrible, but the Alpha Rex lights are sick. They're cycling them up right now, so I'll show you when it actually does a little roundabout. That's pretty dope. But the build itself, eh, it's whatever. It doesn't look like it gets wheeled much. It's more of a show truck than anything. It does have a nice best top, but we're here for the lights. So, Alpha Rex is cool. We're gonna keep moving. But look at this Bronco. I have a half cab. It's well, like a half cab. It's quarter a cab. Mini truck. Three quarter type. cab? It's different, but the only thing is, that, like, if you live somewhere where there's snow, no, rain, but it's gonna capture it all here. Okay, we gotta keep in mind, like, doing stuff like this Bronco has been popular since '66. Yeah, to be honest, first one I see. That's cool. You can't have this in the snow, dude. That'd be filled with snow. Dog. Yes, you can. No, you can't. Yes, you can. No, you can't. Yes, you can. All right, comment below if you think that snow will carry that. And you have your speakers outside, which is <laughs> I just thought about that. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Damn it. Carnivore steps that are way too big. I like the concept, dog, but execution. The concept is cool, but there's shit. Yeah. Like that, that's terrible. Like, what the fuck is this? Is this it? Dude. <laughs> well, what's the point of that? <laughs> I don't know. It looks like a hat, dude. The light bar is kind of ugly. The mounts are whatever. The rail is sick. Dude, who makes that rail? Dude, make that now. It's darker. It is a manual. Dude, what's up with all the manual ones out here? I'm gonna really answer that to you. Because it can't get that's the That's the cheapest truck to get. Yeah, yeah. that's true. Yeah. And this is the cheapest one too, the big man? Yeah, this is the cheapest you can get. Well, other than a base base, right? It's a it's a big man, it's nothing special. I like how they put Sasquatch fenders on it, but it ain't a Sasquatch. That's true. You guys can start counting down. Damn, this bumper sticks out way too much, dude. And, and then the grill is super ugly, but that's from Ford, that's not from yeah, here. Yeah, that's not their fault. But still, they could have picked up a one that wasn't a, a big bend. If they, well, I mean, you, you gotta get a Bronco and you can't you yeah, get but, what you can. Oh, look. Yeah, I saw this earlier. Come check it out. That's kind of sick. Yeah, no. So, you just you push it. Yeah, okay. Boop. You have a tie and down. you can tie down. Oh, that's oh, sick. Although it's kind of cool, it does nothing. I actually, what are you gonna tie yeah, down here? Yeah, that's true. I asked a guy earlier, I mean, he, he told me, he told me, well, it's just a good option. Hey, you know what it is good though? If you have awnings, and you need to like strap it down to it. Because those ones that come around like that, you have to strap it down to something usually. And people do it to the bumper, do it to that. The other thing we have is useless too, dog. No, I put a flag on mine. It's a pointer. That's true, you did put a flag on it, yeah. And a camera. Because Elias put a camera on it, dog. Those steps will get blown up on trail. Okay, gotcha. All right. We're gonna keep moving, dude. It's gonna get louder. Oh, no, no, really. We're continuing on, and now we came out to the hall that's actually outside. Anybody, that's anybody, could come to this one. It's on the side of the street next to the convention center. Oscar, break it down. Super overlandy. Oh, I'm noticing a trend here. But these are like all stock. Remember last year they kept messing up and doing stupid lifts and this shit. These are all been stock. You hear all that sex in the back? Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> it's, the, it's the Hoonigan Burn, burn Yard. Right. So then. <laughs> yeah, we are noticing a lot of trucks are being stocked. Yeah, They're just yeah. adding all the goods and bits and pieces to them. Racks. Add rack. Yeah. Build. SEMA build. So stack, rack, tent, SEMA build. Rock and SEMA build, dog. Yeah. Yep. yep. So bumpers, whatever. We've seen that on another one. Yeah, ADD. It's the ADD. That's 
all it really has, man, is the rack and yeah. the tent, you know? And the steps and the tent and the rack, yeah. You're yeah. right. Suspension's completely stopped, right? Yeah. It's an uh, upper arm for tent. That's upper, it's for who? That's it. Better, uh, right, right, right. <laughs> so it's like Elon Motors built. Yeah, dog, this is cool. We're not gonna waste our time because it's too cool. Yeah, let's go that way, dog. All right. All right, so I'm pretty sure that you guys have been waiting for this one to be broken down. So I'm just gonna turn around the camera. We're just gonna let Oscar go at it. Give me the pen back, dog. I need to show the pen. The pen analogy again, dog. <laughs> Hold on. Here. The pen, pen analogy. Bronco. This fucking well, Bronco. Well, we found out that that's useful, though. That's true. So that's not. Because those have a Dana 60. Kind of. <laughs> I mean, it's a perfect example of just because you could doesn't mean you should. You know, it's like. Put it in a 60, you don't put a dry shaft. You get a Bronco, you don't. We're yeah, not what is build. that, dude? What is that? Yeah. Why? What are we doing? And the crazy thing on this one, dude, it is like, so a lot of these trucks don't have a front dry shaft, they won't have a transfer case. This one has everything. This one has everything, yeah. It's like, oh man, I don't know, dude. I mean, all this, just, I mean, why? Why? Just, I originally saw this build and it was like, the guy doing it put a very nice setup with the gearbox. He actually did it right. Yeah. He added a gearbox and everything, and then he came up with this. You know, it's kind of like. What the so, what gearbox does it have, you think? It's got a legit gearbox, actually. See? They oh, put yeah. an actual gearbox, not a, nothing crazy. They machined this cool damn thing and then just mess it all up. And they just didn't fish. <laughs> I mean, God, why, it, it needs nothing, dog. Just look at it. It's got, you know, it's got freaking razor shocks and other. 1.5 So you can't afford kings, you buy foxes and you put, you know, you paint them blue <laughs> Just to match the rest of the truck Yeah, like if you're gonna match it blue, might as well get kings, right? Yeah, exactly Dude, they're only sponsored though, we can't even, we can't even do this I gotta get, for free, if I, have, if I gotta build this to get these sponsors out, I don't want them That's true, <laughs> that's true yeah, if you have to be the person to destroy a truck right, just to get sponsors, I don't want it. Nope. I mean, I'm not surprised. This is an East Coast thing for sure. Yeah, they love it. So, again, before you guys get all bent out of shape, it's just our opinion, okay? This, on the West Coast, this doesn't work. You can't take this to Johnson Valley and survive in it. This is going to flip over, you're not be able to do anything. It's all style. I never do Broncos thought, but if you look at what is next to it, this baby. I mean, you know exactly what this unicorn looks sick, dude. Look at the unicorn seats. But you can tell it's already too old. Like it's time yeah, to it's an old build. Man. Stop. Stop it with the old builds. See what? I mean perfect example just because you could you shouldn't. That's it. This size is 42s. Really? Damn. I mean he does have the actual strength at least. He almost did a better job than Bronco bucks, Buster. 20 dude. bucks has a 2.3 dog. Oh <laughs> no. What's up? I mean, take your pick. I mean, you can kind of decide what you want this for. But again, this is somebody's vision. That's something that they wanted. So I guess if you drive it and it's your rig, do your thing. But we think it's uh, goofy I'm and it's not worth it. Honestly, what a mess. All right, keep moving. All right, here we go. Why is it so wide, dude? Long travel, dog. <laughs> long, long travel. <laughs> long travel and like four inches of spacer, dude. Come on, help it. Oh, dude, it already has a broken axle. Look, it's already leaking. Come on, oh, man. Shit, it's SEMA. Like yeah, it's SEMA. <laughs> Where's my tape measure, dog? Fuck. Dude, measure that, dog. I lost my tape measure. How much grip are you getting right now? Alright, so this build right here is by Bodyguard Bumpers. And. Oh, it's man. Dog. oh shit. There's no wheel spacer on this thing. A long travel that's it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Baja, there's a Baja Kids kit dog. I bet you they made them delete their sticker dog. They're like, nah, we don't want it. <laughs> what well, is a Baja Kids? Yeah, it's a long travel kit. Damn. Told you all these trucks have interior done, dude. Dude, look at the dashboard on this thing. My god. Dude, they changed that. What the? What is that? Oh, shoot. That's new. That is new. It does have kings. I'll give them that. Alright. Oh, damn, he has Oracles also. Damn, they're not getting his way. Dude. Papa Vic, where you at, dude? You ain't the only one with horns out here. Damn. Damn. I don't even know what to say, dude. This is weird. Look how much? How much? This one's got spacers for a day. Ah, 
God damn, dog. Look at them, like, four inch pieces on this thing. Oh, man, no. Undrivable, you think? Very, dude. He's got to, like, just shit. Like, shit. Huh? Oh. Why is everything matching, dude? Why? What? Somebody's, somebody's got money money, dude. Oh, you know when you go to a TJ dog, you want a paint job with no masking? <laughs> Shh, that's it. <laughs> they just painted everything. God damn, dog. We don't even know what to say at this point. Like, we look at something like this. I don't even know. He's got kings, though. His camera works. It's not blocked. It's not blocked. Yeah. Hey, it's got kings. It's got kings. Oracles, look at those look. headlights. He's even got the hood. He's got the top match. He's got bumps in there. It's wild. I did think it is like a wild track too, so it's not an actually it's not a shitty model. Hit the brakes, dog. Bitchin' Bronco 22. <laughs> Sick. <laughs> All right, we're gonna keep moving. All right, here's another build by the same dude. Damn, he's flipping you off, dog, and he's got a gun. Who did? Sasquatch. That's basically how they feel about it. Wild track. 40s? 40s. Damn, dude. Why? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so I just drop down brackets, drop down brackets, boom, huh? <laughs> yeah, stack them. Damn. He's not cool, though. The Molly panel with the deletes. Yeah. yeah. That's not bad. <laughs> the exhaust. Sounds. Wait, is he on the interior done? Yep. Interior done. Say something, dude. I'm disgusted, dog. So, it's been a little difficult because every truck looks the same. They all got the same parts. There was literally like two or three builders that did almost every Bronco here. And it's the exact same stuff over and over yeah. and over. So it's I, like, think, I think the one thing that cheapens these ones the most is the, the paint. Like, they just, yeah. like, you shouldn't paint these things. Look at them. Like, I get it. It's a personal truck. You want to do certain things. But this is coming like, to SEMA. Like, you can see the drip. You can see, like, it's imperfections just, that are just... It just ugly. It doesn't make sense. And not only that, but they're like undrivable. Some of these rigs are just no, and they're, dude. you know, it's, and it's all the same people building them over and over and over yeah. and over. So they all look the same. Same part, same everything. I'm shocked because they don't have oracles on it. Yeah, that's true. That's why we can't buy the parts, dude, because they got them all. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like putting a badass suspension on a truck like this and never using it, it's like so pointless. Yeah, so it's kind of hard to like actually judge these trucks because it feels like you're judging the same truck over and over. Yeah. So. And look at stock arms. Man, doesn't even make sense. It doesn't, I just don't know. But again, East Coast thing. Maybe I don't think this is East Coast either. This is what they're about, maybe? Oh, no, it's right here, look. TIS. Uh, TIS, World Premier. This is a Vegas company. Has to be. Yeah, this is something. Look at, like, drip right there. Yeah, man, it looks like crap. Like, even the oh, how this shit is just... And they are cutting like their own parts and they're like cut so poorly. They don't even match like the line. We've, we've seen like some pretty bad. They cut it with the grinder basically. Yeah, they're cutting with grinders. I mean, again, tweak their own. Don't get all bent out of shape. This is just what we think. And in, in a performance aspect or actual drivability, it's pointless. Like you're adding, what, how much do you think that weighs? Like 200 pounds? Yeah. With the winch, easy. It's just, it's just dumb, honestly. It's really dumb. But again, to each their own let's keep moving all right so now we're in the wheel and tire hall and we ran into this build right here it's really cool i mean again it's very similar builds to other ones as a fiber works front end and rear end but the color scheme and the way that they did it it looks really dope oh dude it has race helmets now well they added the cross parts like protect and stuff but I mean, you lose a lot of head your head literally sits like right here yeah dude, but this is very short this is the same thing as mine though it's pretty cool like this bar in the back that bar is sick oh this tire carry dude Rough country. The tire carrier is cool too. Oh, there is a rough country tire carrier. You know, it's funny though. It's a rough country. They just, I know what this is. It's just plastic. So it's bolted to nothing. No way. It's just like plastic. There's basically. nothing down there? No. 
I thought they were gonna go from here. Yeah, they would have gone here. Yeah, but this has to be like a Jeep or something. They just use it on it. They just use the one? Damn, that sucks. Looks cool. I mean, the, the idea was kind of cool, but. They should have tipped it up a little bit more and kept the truck going. If they had yeah. the rat clothes and stuff, huh? Sick, dude. The helmets look sick. The vacuum is sick. There's a lot of cool concepts, but it's like not. It's just not this. It has a nice vision like bar up top. I mean, I think the concept, the way they did it is fine. It has ADD front bumper that yeah. looks nice. The rigid pods that are in there are sick. The so dark fenders look cool. I was considering the, these fenders or the ADVs. I'm not a Martha. I don't want none of this shit. I told you, they're not. They're I've never, I've never been a fan of them. But it has Baja kits with some rad flows. And then, I mean, bead locks. Color scheme and wrap is sick. I'll give them that. And it is a Badlands. They trade off road. Yeah. All right, where'd you move? All right, so right, right across the one we just saw, we ran into another one right here. So this one's on 40s, Baja kits. I mean, it rubs like a small It right? does rub, but that could be mounted up here and that fixes the problem. No, because then you can just rub on this. <laughs> you got to do the, the, the delete oh, kit. Oh, yeah. This is the delete kit. This is the delete kit, yeah. I haven't seen one already. No, it doesn't look like it would rub, but there's 40s right there. Dude, this Bronco looks big. But again, very, very similar to I think everything else. Rock slide, sliders, ADD, front bumper. Dude, Alfie, everybody has Alfa Rex headlights, except for us. <laughs> it's got a rack on it. Dude, that rack is like different pieces. Oh, this is nice. It's actually low pro too. Yeah. It's mule. <laughs> I'll take the TJ. Dude, that 40 is not going to hold on this. How'd they do it? Dude, that's not. That's just for show, dude. Oh, of course. You go wheeling just, with this Rev Country 40? This truck is not made for nothing but it's gonna to be fall apart. Yeah. I guarantee that's as much turning as that truck can do. Yeah, that's unfortunate. That's it. 40s for no reason. It looks cool. This is why we can't find suspension, Doctor. They <laughs> They're all here. They're all here. <laughs> Man. All right, let's keep moving. It's a Bronco, dog. <laughs> it's a Bronco frame. That's what it is. No, it's not, dog. It's like a K20. It's a 1972 Chevy K5. Oh, it's a shortened Cadillac Escalade frame. It's a 1972 2021 Bronco. <laughs> Badlands. <laughs> it's one of those, like, when somebody has a grip of names. <laughs> Damn, Damn. What did you say, dude? How do you feel about this? No, Chevy half-ass what? Half-ass Chevy, half-ass Ford. It's got side exits, though. Something. It's almost as bad as a scout guy that talks shit because the scouts, he doesn't he realize why Good, cheap, and fast, dog. It makes sense now. You know what they should have done? They should have just called it a Dodge, bro. Because it's not a Chevy or a Ford. That's true. Dude, look at the taillights. Bronco. <laughs> These motherfuckers, dog. <laughs> people, should, people should never build nothing in their life again. It's nice. It's nice. It's nice. It's nice. Fucking people, dog. Hey, the fact that Seema allowed anything like this in here, dog, is disrespectful. People just can't even own a decent tube bender to make a cage for this thing. I would do and have to slap my AC back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my name's on the wrong <laughs> We need the gear for something, dog. Look at that skip plate, dog. You just get catch. God damn, dog. WD6. That's a wind plate. Probably fucking, probably, uh, Dude. They're by the house. It's such a hodgepodge, bro. That's a hemi. Dude. Just breaking all the rules. He saw the list of rules, he's like, fuck I mean, all of them. <laughs> fuck all the rules, dude. Check them all he, off. Maybe he, nope. he built it for Hot Wheels. Built this shit for the scrapyard, dog. SA Meadows right here. Damn. He's from Auburn, California. Yeah. SA Meadows, pick up your rig. SA Meadows, pick up your car. That's not the time. Damn. This is how you piss everybody off right here. Yeah, very much. <laughs> That's why you're at the back of the south the hall, corner. dude. Next to the restroom. He doesn't. Custom LEDs. Dog, yeah. custom FN customs, there we are. He didn't even mention Ford in it. Yeah, dog, whoever this is, dog, just fuck him. That's it, sorry. Those just people. Just burp me. <laughs> <laughs> duck you guys. <laughs> duck you guys, dog. Duck you mother duckers. Damn. Snop was wild. George, Mr. George, break this truck down, dog. Mr. George, break this down. <laughs> so don't get shy now, dude. It's speechless, bro. <laughs> <laughs> All you gotta do is go talk to the owner right there. Why is this? I don't know the background with this. Like, this guy has every connect with Ford dog, and he comes up with this. It's like, come on. wait a minute, hold on, hold on. Oh, how do you downgrade your shocks from the Badlands to those skinnies? Those are not even like the good building. Oh, no, they're not. No. This shit comes with the nice one. Yeah, it comes with a nice icon. Probably kept it. Probably yeah. I mean, the interior's kind of hard. This is the badass. That cup right there. <laughs> that cup is the cup is sick. And the shifter because it's a manual. There's a lot of manuals at the show, dude, because nobody could afford the automatics. <laughs> this rack's ugly. 
the evidence just flows right through it, bro. I mean, it's just... Yeah. But it's these people never drive this shit, man. We need more drivers, less bullshit. Yeah, I know what this is, dog. What? eBay Motors bought this shit. eBay Bronco, dog. Is that what it is? Probably. Look at it. Daniel Navarre, he made a 66 when he first started. Like my green one. Look at it, he copied your sliders too, dog. <laughs> and he did the same interior look and everything. Yeah. He needs more style. That shit didn't even That front bumper is so bad. Look at how much it pops out. I mean, the interior is okay. I don't I really... It's okay, but... I mean, it's cool that it matches his trailer. The color scheme to me is just kind of off a little bit. And a big tire. Basically never driven. Tell me something, bud. I don't know, what dude. What the fuck like... is the point of this, like? It's just so you can show his name, It doesn't dog. even flow, though. I mean, you... So this guy's like a big builder. He's the guy that, he's the guy that did the off-road deal. He's the guy that built this thing. Oh, let's go. I'm done. You know what I mean? That's all I need. Bye. So we found the Pro Runner here at the Toyo Tire entrance. This thing is dope. The color is sick. Look at how wide and nasty it looks. Look at the build. Oh, it's fast. This is like, this is fast. Man, this is, this is sweet. All right, what are we doing, dude? Come here, talk to me. 3.0 IVP is done. That's all I see. You see the track bar? This has the upgrade, then a 62. Yeah, chop. Yeah. He's getting a fucking spoon in does have it. Hey, it's my track bar, dog. Shit, we get this truck, yes, fuck yeah, we'll spoon it out. Oh, I didn't know that was Dude, 3.0 IVP. Dude, look at it. There's a winch in the back. Right here? Uh, that's what I told you to do. That's what I want to do. Dude, look at that. It's up there, bro. Damn, Dave. Dave, 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 we need more winches. We need more winches, Dave. Dude, they got 60 rear. This color is sick, dude. See, that's a chill, because they did a long arm kit on this one, too, but they didn't move the upper like it did on Lauren's. Huh. Lauren probably has way more travel, too, though. <laughs> yeah, it probably does. Okay, too, though. Damn, this thing's bad, dude. How's the front end? I didn't see the front yet. Hey, Jesse, from uh, Dana. Look it. We need, those, we need two of those. He probably gave it to them. He did. <laughs> dude, this is a new top, too. Look. Oh, this is that. Yeah, uh, this is that one. No, it's the, who's this top? No, somebody else's top. Yeah. Look at this shit, dog. It's two pieces. Damn. 3.0 IBPs on with a 2.5 uh, bypass. bypass. I want to see it do stuff though. I like the, I like the, 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 the flares, dude. Huh? Yeah, that yeah. flare's sick. They did this, but they didn't. They didn't just end it. They, they added that little bit. Yeah. yeah. Damn. Dude, did you see the in the liner? Forties, dog. You see the liner? Oh yeah, the carbon fire one. Carbon fire liner. Posted. That's the way to it. All right, this one's pretty hard, dude. Uh, Same thing, dog. Damn. Three zero high pass. But look, they kept the modular, dog. How sick is that? It's the sexiest bumper, dog. Dude. Dude, look at this. Clear coated over the TIG side. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Look at that tie rod. That's actually kind of nice. <laughs> That's sick. Stock spindle, too. That's kind of cool. Damn. Oscar, why did you put this suspension on yours? <laughs> you want to give me the money? This one, too? Sick. Be my tax Should I be your tax write off? Who we'll sent me the money? He's ugly. Damn. All right, that could be, I don't know, between this one and the RTR one, the XL? I still think the XL. The XL's still better though, yeah. They, they, they use the same. Your bumper sick. Tire carrier six on 40s. What? It's got all the beef. Dana 60. Damn it. That thing's hard, man. You guys did a good job on it. Damn, so we find another classic. What year is this? 66, 67 or something. 66, 67. It's kind of hard to talk because they've taken a lot of parts off already. beautiful. They did a beautiful resto. That center's not stock, right? No, none of this is stock. It's a resto mod. It's a resto mod? Very nice. Man. Frame's all powder coated and nice. And Damn, it is. Look at this tailgate. See, look. Rims, factory correct. Look at this. The tailgate is beautiful. I guess even like, look at the bezels are all pushed. Damn. Damn. Jose and Bo, Dude, it's so you don't good. Gotta do all this bullshit to it. Yeah, look at simplicity makes it like yeah, beautiful, yeah. and it's like yeah, the wheels are time bold. correct. Yep. Time period. Yeah. yeah but they change the sport panorama. Yeah, dope, dude. That's beautiful. But again, doesn't get driven. I mean, too, like a hundred k though. Yeah. Easily. I like the third one. 
Looks beautiful. I'm working on one. Man. For an old one. For an old one, it's sick. Oh, it's a It's a very good one. Yeah, it's beautiful. That's a Hellwig one. Dude, coyote, dog. Man, that's gorgeous. It's got a 5 on it? Yeah. Oh, yeah, dude, I think coyote, you're right. 10 speed Atlas, god damn. Coyote, 10 speed Atlas on this old, beautiful oh, truck. Damn. Dude, this, the detail this is insane, dude. The detail's dude, crazy. Look at the bracket to hold up the, the transport. Dang. Look, dog, a bracket you yeah, never see. Yeah, this is a see. gem. Hold on, we're gonna show you something. A bracket you, you'll never see, like, way. Oh, you can't even see it on camera. But it holds a trans cooler up here, and they probably spent like two days on that bracket alone. Damn. Look at this. Atlas, 10 speed, Coyote. This thing moves, dog. We need money. <laughs> yeah. All right, so we just found out it had a Coyote, and that's amazing. So for a little truck, almost no weight, properly built. It not only moves, it's gorgeous on the inside. Has pretty much everything you need for not just performance, but so the drivability and everything. It's gorgeous. Precision, you guys killed it. Or whoever the owner of this truck is, perfect. All right, so if you guys saw our previous episode, this is the truck that Teresa Baja Forge from Baja Forge and LGE built. It's the one they're giving away through all maze. Dude, he's got the engine intake. Look, they got the full pipes on this one. Sick. Dude, look at the box. Yeah, so that's a bunch of rigid goodies. Baja Forge front bumper, rear bumper. Yeah, it's got some crazy icon setups. The color code is cool. But yeah, again, you can win this Bronco. You can go check on omaze.com or hit a Baja Forge or LGE. Reach out to Teresa and check it out. It's really nice and simple, man. The rear bumper's simple. The sliders are simple. They have a bunch of other stuff, but they do very nice though. They do. They we were talking about earlier how these all look unfinished. Yeah. They actually painted a black lip on yeah. there. They made it. it That's pretty nice. Finished. I want these pipes though. I know. What the hell? Dude, the pipes all the way down to the turbo. All the way through. Yeah, this is a badass kit. Dude, it does. It even has a polished. Yeah, that's pretty sick. It's the first one that I've seen with all the pipes. Yeah. Nice. All right, we're gonna keep moving. Baja Forge, Omaze. Good job. All right, team. So they're kicking us out, but we got one more build right here, right in front of us. So we're gonna knock it out real quick before we have to go. Who makes this one? Gateway. Gateway. Damn. This color is super sick. And I'm gonna take it with me. The interior is all wood. This color scheme is sick. Also completely redone. Who's, who makes this color? Coyote. Dude. 10 speed. Coyote. 10 speed. Yeah. Man, he's beautiful. How much is it? Uh, how much is it promoting? How much is this one? They're all promoting about 250 maybe. Yeah. They're promoting a while back. A quarter? 250 quarter mil. Yeah. But they actually were one of the first ones that got into this like, this, like the this. new Resto Resto setup. That's so sick. This thing is beautiful. <laughs> this thing, it's not an OG truck. It's all new. Yeah, it's a new. It's a it's Resto a mod for sure. Car. No, it's a kit car. It's not a Resto at all. No. Frame, body, everything is so brand new even, metal. No, brand new metal. So what, just the body? Sort Nothing of? is. It was brand new metal. I mean, it's got the lines. <laughs> yeah, because they did it right. <laughs> but it's... Hey! <laughs> it's got the line though, George. George, it has the line. This one too, dude. And the seam? Yeah. Oh, they built it right. They did it right. Yeah. Is that what that means? Yeah. Dude, I already know everything about Broncos on <laughs> <laughs> I already know. Two. This one's a sweep stake one. Two. It's got a line, dog. We're good. But you'll never get a truck right? with the line very clean because it's yeah, always it's bad right here. Like, yeah, always? Or else it's like a rebuilt Because everything? this is a put together chassis. It's a two piece. It's a two piece. So this goes welded on top of here. So the original is a one? One piece? No, this no. is a wall of a one. The original is two pieces. That's why it never looks These like. These are all re-stamped. Uh, this is so built on a jig. Damn. Taking me to Bronco school right now, dude. What the heck? It's sick. I know. Oh shit, big ass rod all the way back. Is that for a soft top, I think? No. 
No, that's to hold, the that's to hold the windshield forward. Know, so the gap on the when you close and open the door, it's not hitting the truck. They're nice, though, but they're not. That's a beautiful truck, but yeah, it's not completely classic. It is completely redone. Axles, body, uh, air, everything, it, paint, it's, seats. It's classic-ish. Flex. Ish. It looks classic, but <laughs> it's definitely not. The big wheel, the big slotted. Mm -hmm. They're just yeah, showing off the rim. That's to figure out how you're gonna control it. There's always a button. Right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I almost got ran over, but I just want to thank you guys for sticking around. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the good, the bad, and the ugly of these Bronco builds. Honestly, it's all opinionated. A lot of it, is, it comes from us actually driving the rigs and being performing. Performance what? Uh, enthusiast. Enthusiast, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we like shit that works. So when we see stuff that doesn't, I mean, honestly, it's a lot of money to be spending on cars like that just to have them out here and to do nothing. It's, it's kind of, really it's a thing that I know has been around forever. It's not something that we're into. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Let us know what you think. Comment ugliest, baddest, greatest, whatever you guys want. Um, so far, the Lorian Healy build takes the cake for the best Bronco out here for sure. APG next. Um, APG probably next. And then after that, there's a couple in there that are pretty close. A couple pieces that companies did create are really, really nice too. So we can't take that away from them. It's definitely an upgrade from some of the stuff we saw last year, but still, there's still a huge miss on what uh, a Bronco should be built. Built or used for really, in my opinion. Wrap it up, Doc. Beer time. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, make sure you guys comment, subscribe. There's gonna be more of SEMA coverage. We'll bring that to you at the next episode. Uh, let us know what you guys want to see. Special guest. And <laughs> special guest Georgie right here. Papa George. Como estamos? So yeah, but we're gonna wrap it up here. We're gonna walk back to the truck, load it. We're gonna go have dinner, have a good time. But we'll see you next time. Like, comment, subscribe. Check us on Instagram, YouTube, Patreon, and TikTok. See you later.